I know, I know. I need to find a prettier place. I know, I know. You're like, John, will you show me a different... Show me a different thing other than the yachts. I get it. I get it. In fact, uh, you know, I saw a yacht. Um, <laughs> it was orange. and It was called Say Yacht. Say slash yacht.com. Put it on my Twitter. Read it. But you know what? There's a first, baby. I saw an orange yacht, which, by the way, I'm not really a big fan of. Um, but then I also uh, I saw a, uh, it was orange, but it was the first time in my life I've ever, I've ever seen a uh, yacht with a domain. Domain. In fact, I know a little bit about domains. I, um, I uh, started one of the very first fintechs, MyLendingPlace.com. And uh, I'll tell you kind of a quick story about MyLendingPlace.com. Kind of has like an interesting takeaway, and then I'll kind of talk about some things that I'm learning, and, and maybe I can get my next assignment and where I'm supposed to go. You know, there's so many places I can go. Um, let's see, I grew up in Oklahoma. Um, well, I was born in Louisiana, grew up in Oklahoma, moved to Texas, moved all around Texas, and then I moved uh, to Austin, started my company. Austin's a beautiful place. Love Austin. Uh, you know, one thing about Austin is that Austin is such a cool place. But if you notice, people talk about Austin relative to other Texas cities. So when people are talking about Austin, they're not really talking about how cool Austin is, even though Austin is cool. What they're really talking about is they're talking about how Austin is cooler than their other Texas town. Okay, other you know, so it's always like you know what I I, I moved from uh, I moved from Abilene to fucking Austin. I love Austin. Another and then you're like yeah okay, you love Austin. Everybody loves Austin. It's just you hated Abilene, or you know like dude, what I was doing here is I was in Lubbock, motherfucker. I was guns up, and then what I decided to do is I went instead of going to Raider, I went fucking to Texas. I love Texas. You know, that's kind of so. Here's the thing. If you love Austin, go to another place outside of Austin, like go to San Fran. And anyway, so this, you know, compare if you're if you live in Texas, compare, uh, use a a different uh, barometer city. You know, use a uh, I don't know San Fran. Use uh, Portland. You know, go there. In fact, you got to get out of Texas, man. Uh, You got to get out of Texas. If there's anything I could really recommend to somebody, uh, it's to get out of Texas. In fact. Um, you know, I'm always kind of having a hard time defining this YouTube channel. Is it a travel log? Is it just me rambling about my spiritual blah, blah? Is it about me promoting small businesses? Is this about me talking about my story with the MRA? It's just so art. And, you know, and maybe I'm just supposed to, call, you know, play some music, you know? Maybe I'm just like that. Maybe all I'm supposed to do is bring some good independent music. Or, you know, sometimes I get to ranting. I want to talk about shit that, you know what? I'm like, dude. Dude, let me talk about some shit. Talk about some shit. You know, then I then I have a business idea. You know, I think you know that you know you know you'll kind of run into something. Like I I love boutique hotels, for example. I love boutique. In fact, in Austin, uh, San Jose in Austin, Texas, is one of the coolest cities or cool, coolest hotels in the coolest city. So if you're gonna go to Austin, go to the San Jose. It's where I like to go. Uh, ask for the uh, the uh, Johnny Cash room. In fact, uh, in fact, if you want, if you really really want to piss them off. And I'm trying to promote the business, but let me kind of give. Uh, ask for the Johnny Fibonacci discount of 10% for the uh, Johnny Cash, um, the Johnny Cash room. Anyway, any of the rooms uh, in um, uh, at the San Jose, those are cool places. Uh, but anyway, like you know, even here in Sausalito, there's the uh, there's the Casa Madrona. In fact, uh, I would love to kind of tour that and show that to you. So what is this, man? What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to just talk about boutique hotels? Maybe some things I'm learning spiritually. Maybe some things I'm learning. Um, about life and growing up, you know, my college readiness class, I'm like, you know, that was such a random thing. I mean, I wanted to just teach in LA and then I found the comedy store. Maybe I should go back to the comedy store. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, there's all kinds of, you know, and, and there's just, at, at the end of the day, we just got to turn to the light and we got to say, you know what, John, follow your heart. You know, uh, Joseph Campbell says, follow your bliss, follow your bliss. You know, the hero's journey, you know, the more that I kind of rock out to this stuff, the more I see that, I think God's doing a hero's journey with me. You know, you kind of move forward and then you kind of go back. You got, you know, you got to go back and forgive something. Maybe I could just talk about sex and relationships and dating. Maybe I can talk about that and, you know, and talk about, you know, what it's like to date, you know, post divorce. Or maybe I could maybe I could just be uh, talk political shit about Trump. Maybe I could talk about Trump. He is. Remember in fact, I stole this joke from Argus Hamilton. He's another Oklahoma guy. Uh, he, he, you know, so I give him credit for this joke. But he was talking about Donald Trump. And he says, Donald Trump is proof, proof that orange is the new black. 
Anyway, that's Argus Hamilton joke. In fact, Google him. He, in fact, he played a couple times at the Comedy Store. Saw Howie Mandel in real life. So I've, I've met Jerry Seinfeld in real life, thanks to my sister, Adrian. Um, in fact, I'll tell you that story. Maybe I could just talk about siblings. In fact, here's a funny thing. If you ever want to know where this video is coming from, like, where is he coming from? Just picture me. Grew up with my, uh, my, my stepdad. He said he was from Malaysia, but he was actually born from Pakistan. We didn't know he was from Pakistan until 9-11 happened, and he told his kids. Uh, he's like, don't tell them I'm from Pakistan. And they're like, I didn't think you were from Pakistan. So anyway, I grew up with a Malaysian stepdad. He used to beat the shit out of me. Oh, now it's making sense. It's got some fucking trauma. Then I went to a Christian university, an Abilene Christian university. Always cash, nigga. You know, I thought, wouldn't it be funny if I did like a comedy, a, my first comedy bit uh, in Abilene at the, at the university and I talked about all the things I wish I would have known when I was going to school there. But they wouldn't let me in because why? I'm divorced and I use the word fuck. 728B, baby. That's funny to some people. Just beyond the Azure Blue. That's funny to some people. In fact, Google Azra. It's a really interesting uh, color. Google that, Wikipedia. Anyway, I gotta be done. I'm kind of random. What else can I learn? Maybe I could. Um, maybe I could talk about Pagosa Springs. You know, Pagosa Springs sort of started this journey. In fact, in fact, all my stories, all my good stories, start with two two things. Once I met a girl, and then once I got high. Once I met a girl, she told me about Pagosa. Went to Pagosa. Here I am, Pagosa. Then I went to uh, went through all that shit in Texas. All my exes live in Texas. Then I thought I was going to live in Pagosa. Then I moved to beautiful Durango. Found Jesus in Durango, literally. Oh my goodness, Durango. And then and then I kind of needed to move on. You know, I remember I remember vividly. Um, you know, I woke up with an almost an audible voice where God just said, "Let Durango go." And I'm like, "No, no, I love Durango. I love to ski." And then, you know, I, but it was like so real, you know, so real. And I knew he was right. And then a couple of things confirmed that and then moved to, I said, well, you know what? what what's my favorite city in the world? San Fran. So I moved to Sausalito Bay. Um, and then I got the teaching assignment at UCLA. And then I'm back here. Uh, maybe I could talk about teaching. Uh, man, there's all, all kinds of things I, wanted to, I could talk about. So anyway, if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to talk about, maybe something I said something, you're like, dude, that's where you need to go, bro. Then just let me know. Uh, or Jerry Seinfeld, maybe you can teach us. This is after Jerry Seinfeld. In fact, I'm going to put this as a my uh, Jerry Seinfeld. I met you one time in Oklahoma City. You know, I was just a guy named Jonathan. Uh, my sister. Here's a quick story. Of my sister. In fact, thank you, Adrian. You know, I'm talking about my my, my family so much, probably because my family represents so much pain. You know, pain. I'm just trying to start rambling and fucking. But here's the thing. Um, uh, my sister worked at a really nice hotel, and she uh, was nice enough to call me. She's like, "Guess who's here?" And first it was Britney Spears. I'm like, sister. And then the second time she's like, guess Jerry Seinfeld's here. And I met Jerry Seinfeld in real life with my real right hand. And boom. Uh, so thank you, Adrian. That was such a highlight. And the fact that, you know, God's still doing something with comedy in my life and bringing that back just because it's just something I love to do. And, um, and then what else? Um, we, uh, so Jerry Seinfeld can teach me uh, transmeditative. or tra- I, I went to a, in Beverly Hills, I just went to a, uh, uh, a meditation seminar, and it's one thing that uh, Jerry Seinfeld really signs up for. And I'm like, dude, that fucking guy's brilliant. I mean, he's brilliant. Even even if he weren't a comedian, he's brilliant. Uh, so I went to a uh, transcendental meditation seminar in Beverly Hills. So we could talk about trans. Uh, we could talk about that meditation and how, you know. In fact, I'm, I'm I don't really I haven't. You know, they they wanted a thousand bucks to do it. So anyway, maybe you're in San Fran. You want to teach me transcendental meditation? We could do that. Jerry Seinfeld, come teach me. Uh, or anything else, whatever you guys want to know, I love to know because I want this channel to be a source of light and love. J Bug, K Bug, I love you. Those are my kids. You guys have a great day if you need me. Americano417 at gmail.com. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs>